For this video, I want to show you how to end and subtract rational expressions when the denominators are not the same. So I call this uncommon denominators, all right? So how do we end and subtract fractions with uncommon denominators? One way that you can do it that you were taught back in grade school is to find the common denominators and adjust the numerators for each, all right? Now I'm going to show you a different way that I like to do it that's called the smiling X. And it works because the smiling X is a fancy name for the algorithm. So here's how the smiling X works. Let's say that I have A over B plus C over D. I'm going to create an X by taking A times D plus B times C. So let me write that down. A, D plus B, C. All right. And because there's the X, and because I'm almost done, I'm happy, so I'm going to smile, and that's BD. This is, in fact, what the actual algorithm for adding and subtracting rational expressions says to do, or fractions. All right, so let's try it with just a couple of simple ones here. Let's say we have two-thirds plus three-fourths. First thing I want to do is I want to find the X. So I'm going to take 2 times 4 plus 3 times 3. That would be 8 plus 9 or 17. Then I'm going to find the smile. The smile would be 3 times 4 or 12. I put the numerator 17 over the denominator 12 and look to see if I can simplify that. I can't, I'm done. All right, so again, in blue, I did the numerator, the X. In green, I did the denominator, the smile. And then I put it together to get to a final answer. Let's see if it works with subtraction. So I'm going to go 2 times 4 minus 3 times 3 for the numerator. There's the X. So that would be 8 minus 9 or negative 1. Now I'm going to do the smile, 3 times 4 is 12, and then I'll put the numerator, negative 1, together with the denominator, 12, and that's what 2 thirds minus 3 fourths is equal to. We're going to take this exact same idea, but now we're going to apply it to rational expressions. So step 1, find the x, all right? Simplify that if you can. Step two, find the smile. Simplify that if you can. Step three, put it all together and look to see if you have anything that can cancel. All right, so let's take a look at this first example. Again, think. Smiling X. All right, so I'm going to do the X first in blue. I have 3X times 2 plus... 5y squared times 4x. All right, so this will be 6x plus 20xy squared. Now, I noticed I have a GCF here, so I'm going to factor out the GCF. The GCF would be 2x, and that would leave me with 3 plus 10y squared. All right, there's my numerator. Denominator, I have 5y squared times 2, which would be 10y squared. Okay, put the numerator and the denominator together. 2x times 3 plus 10y squared over 10y squared. So now I want to use my rational expression simplifying techniques. I know monomials can cancel with monomials. Binomials can only cancel with identical binomials. I notice here that 2 and 10 can cancel, leaving me with a 5. So the final answer here would be x times 3 plus 10y squared divided by 5y squared. There's no other factoring or simplifying that can occur. All right, 
let's try to ramp it up here now to include a binomial. So I see these binomials. I'm going to go ahead and parenthesize them and now do the x part of the smiling x. So I have 6x times x plus 4 plus 3x squared times x plus 2. All right, I'm going to have to simplify this. So let's see, I've got 6x squared, 24x, 3x to the third, plus 6x squared. I'm going to arrange it in standard form. So 3x to the third, plus 12x squared, plus 24x. I definitely recognize a GCF of 3x leaving me with x squared plus 4x plus 8. And there's no way to factor x squared plus 4x plus 8. The goal number is 8. The middle term is 4. There are no factors of 8 that will add to give you 4. All right. So now I'm going to do the smile. The smile would be 3x squared times x plus 4. I'm going to go ahead and leave it in factored form because I see in the numerator some things are going to cancel out. So now I'm going to put it together. I've got 3x times x squared plus 4x plus 8 divided by 3x squared times x plus 4. I recognize from the monomials, the threes will cancel. From the monomials, this x cancels with this x, but I still have an x left in the denominator. The numerator could not factor, so therefore I know that my final answer is going to be x squared plus 4x plus 8 over x times x plus 4. So while the process here, guys, is a little bit longer, I've really found this is the easiest way to do polynomial addition and subtraction. It just takes a little while. All right, let's try this one. So we're going to do the, the x of the smiling x. So this would be 4y times 6x minus 3x squared y times 5x. All right, got to clean this up. So this would be 24xy. Don't know what happened there. Let me erase that. 24xy minus 15x to the third y. Okay, so let's see. I recognize a GCF of 3xy. And that leaves me with 8 minus 5x squared. Okay, I'm going to do my smile. My smile down on the bottom says 3x squared y times 6x. 3x squared y times 6x. I'm going to go ahead and multiply these together. I know it's going to cancel, but I'm going to go ahead, since they're both monomials, write this as 18x to the third y. All right, put it together. Blue, 3xy times 8 minus 5x squared over green, 18x to the third y. I look to cancel. 3 and 18 leaves me a 6 down on the bottom. x and x to the third leaves me with x squared on the bottom. y and y cancel. Leave me with a 1 on top if I want to go that route. This leaves me with 8 minus 5x squared over 6x squared. And this is in complete simplified form. So let's do one more just to see what happens. All right. So I'm going to do the, the x, which would be 4x and x minus 6. And be careful here. I have a negative or subtraction, and I know I have to multiply 2x plus 2 and 5x. So I'm going to write this, though, in this case, as 5x times 2x plus 2. 
That way I'm distributing the negative 5x, all right? So it's be 4x squared minus 24x minus 10x squared minus 10x. Combine like terms, I get negative 6x squared minus 34x. I recognize a GCF of a negative 2x. And that leaves me with 3x plus 17. All right, the denominator. Let's see, I've got 2x plus 2. 2x plus 2 times x minus 6. All right. So this would be 2x squared minus 12x plus 2x minus 12 or 2x squared minus 10x minus 12. I recognize that there is a GCF of 2 leaving me with x squared minus 5x minus 6. And I recognize that this can factor to x, let's see, negative 6. So that'd be negative 6 and positive 1. All right, time to put everything together. So I've got negative 2x times 3x plus 17. And I've got 2x minus 6, x plus 1. I recognize the monomials of negative 2 and 2 can cancel, leaving me with a negative 1 on top. That's the only thing that can cancel. So my final answer would be negative 1x times 3x plus 17 over x minus 6 and x plus 1. Now be prepared, sometimes what they may do for this, for an answer like this, is they may multiply things together. You have to be able to recognize that they're the same thing. I hope this helps. Let me know if I can be of any more assistance.